Uh, this is the circuit board that he's on about. Inside here there's a circuit board and because you can see that there has been some water ingress in here, this is what you have to prise apart. And you prise this apart from these little clips here. A little bit more carefully than I have. And you find a circuit board inside. Because this plastic's so old, I'm probably going to have to stick this back together. Uh -oh. The circuit board inside is what we want to clean. Okay. There's some evidence of corrosion down there. So we'll just take this apart. We'll clean it up, put it back together, and hopefully we should be in business after. WD-40 and some little pins. We'll clean out all of this crap inside here, make sure they've just got, rough them up a little bit. We need to find some electric white grease and just put a dab onto each one of these and onto the pins on here when we've got that clean as well just to make sure it's got a very good connection same for anything else that looks corroded and while you're at it you might as well grease up every single connector Now we're putting a bit of copper grease over all the connectors. Now they're all nice and cleaned up. This will just protect them from getting crappy again in the future. Mm. Okay, just to recap what we've done, this car would not start at all. We've just had to have it brought back home on the back of a recovery truck because it said electrical fault and cut out while we were driving it. Another fault that you might notice pops up on your screen would be steering locked or steering not locked, steering check, anything like that. What we have done is repaired this car by taking out the fuse box, which is located under here. which can come out fairly easily or be a bit of a pain. I'm not going to take it off because I've just got it back on. There is a small box underneath here. Disconnect all of your wires. The box will wriggle free if you undo a little nut that's about here. Clean up all the connections. If you can see any signs of corrosion, give them a blast with some AC90 or some WD40. Either or, both the same thing pretty much. It's a lot easier to get into all of that if you take your battery, battery case and ECU out. It's fairly easy, just a 13mm socket. Clean up all of your connections, including all of these fuses that are located underneath this little red box. We've lost the lid to ours, you might not to yours, that's what it looks like inside. Clean that up, put it all back together, give it a nice bit of grease just to protect it. And the results are that you now have a working car and you haven't had to pay a penny to fix it. Takes about an hour if you do a damn good job of it. There we go.